Hello everyone, I'm Daniel Moore, and in today's tutorial I'll show you how to set up a uh, trifold brochure that you can use for print. Uh, one thing I want to note is that I'm using the newer version of Affinity uh, Publisher, the public beta. It is, uh, I believe at the time of this recording, it's 1.70.58. So in this new version, they fixed uh, some bugs and stuff, and they added uh, preview bleeds to the uh, document. So in order to set up a trifold brochure, I'm going to go to File and New. And this is these are my settings. I'm going to go with Type, Print Press Ready, a Page Preset, Letter, ANSI A, Document Units, Inches, Image Placement Policy, Prefer Embedded. If you embed images, uh, it, it's just good for making sure that images, the images are part of the document and people won't have to look for the images in like folders and stuff if they're linked. So that's usually a good thing to have. I'm going to keep facing pages turned off. The color format is going to be CMYK8, a color profile US web coded swap uh, version 2, dimensions 11 inches wide by 8.5 inches tall, and I'm going to make sure the DPI is 300. Uh, that way it's pretty high quality when you send it off to a printer. The margins, again, are going to be a 0.25. You can click this lock icon to make sure that everything updates at the same time if you're using this uh, version of Affinity Publisher. So if you type in whatever number you want, it'll change it automatically for all of them. Just gonna keep it 0.25. So there we go, we got our first page and this is uh, first page is gonna be like where our front uh, panel, our back panel, and uh, the inside panel is gonna be. So I'm gonna add a new page real quick. That way it'll be the inside of that. And in order to set up a, a trifold, you have to uh, set some guides to uh, make sure that everything sort of goes in okay. So I'm going to set that up by going to View, Guides Manager, and it's going to be in Vertical Guides, and make sure Percent is checked off. So for the first... Uh, page the two guides are going to be 3.688 and 7.376. You don't want to make them equally uh, distributed. These uh, two guides that we're going to put in because the way trifold brochures like fold, they aren't really equal. So I'm going to type this in real quick. Uh, 3.625 and then 7. Point... Oh. Wrong, wrong guides. And then 7.313. Uh, oh, I put it on the page too, my bad. You want to make sure that you have whatever uh, page you want to put the guides on uh, selected. So now that we have our guide set up uh, for this page, I'm going to go to page 2 and set up the guides for that one. And for that one, it is, I believe, 3.688 and then uh, 7.367, I want to say. Three point seven six. And these will represent our inside panels. So for the first page, uh, actually we're gonna set up our bleeds. So I'm gonna go to document setup, uh, go to the bleed tab right here. I'm gonna make sure this lock icon is turned on. And someone mentioned to me that the, actually you can go a bit higher with uh, your bleeds. Usually a 0.25 is pretty good. It all depends on your printer. Uh, 0.125 or 1 8th uh, inch bleed is uh, usually the minimum. So I'm going to set up a 0.25 uh, inch bleed all around. And now you'll see we get this uh, gray sort of guideline right around here. So when you put images and uh, shapes with colors in them, it'll extend to the edge of the document and when the printer prints it, it'll get cut off around here, or around here rather, but the uh, image will still 
show up that color. So if I make this like a yellow color and hit Control Shift and W to turn off all my guides, you'll see that it goes to the edge of the document. So I'm just going to delete that. I'm just going to place an image in here just to show you what I mean. I'm going to go to my uh, Place Image tool. Just click and drag something right there. Go to Replace Image. Click this image. You can use whatever image you want, uh, really. And you'll see that it extends past the margins, it extends past the uh, page border, and it goes all the way up to the bleeds. So if I hit Control, Shift, and W, you'll see that the image does get cut off, but it'll still extend to the edge of the document. So for the front, pa for the front panel, uh, what you want to imagine is that uh, this is the front panel, this is the back panel, and this is the inside panel. This will fold into this. And then this will fold over that, if you can imagine that, if uh, what I'm saying makes sense. So usually the front panel is good for putting... Usually what you want to put here is the uh, company and the uh, tagline. It, ha it has to look sort of catchy to catch the uh, reader's eye. And the back panel is used for uh, contact information. A lot of people won't read this. So, if you have an important message, uh, don't put it here. It'll probably get lost uh, to people. And so, put, like, contact information, like uh, Twitter, website, etc. And this is the inside panel. The inside panel is uh, usually used for uh, testimonials and explaining why people should choose you. And you'll see here, I uh, put some logos for this fictional company in here to show that they helped with uh, certain brands. Uh, to get to get these, you can go to a website called seeklogo.com uh, and you can look for brand logos. You can search for them in uh, formats like uh, Adobe Illustrator, APS, CDR, I don't even know what that is, SVG, and PDF. And uh, in order to get the images that I'm using, I used a uh, website called duotone.shapefactory.co so you can make your own colors and then you can uh, click on one and like download it uh, for your project purposes. This is powered by Unsplash so it's a lot of free stock photography so you can use this in I believe personal and commercial uh, use but you want to double check to make sure. And then for the second page you can uh, choose images as well. This is panel 1, this is panel 2, and this is panel 3. What these panels usually represent is that uh, you uh, information. So uh, for this panel I put in what we do. So like uh, it would describe what the this creative branding agency would do. They would do like uh, commercials, research, etc. Our process, this is uh, just something I made up for this uh, fictional company as well. And the process would normally be like a research, uh, questions, stuff like that. And then you can prompt people to learn more to like go to your website or check out uh, other social media. I know what this is, that's what this is for as well, but uh, if it's on the inside panel, it has a better chance of being uh, read. And if you want to save this as a template, you can go to File, Save As, and then just name it uh, a template, the Trifold Brochure template. And then you can change everything out uh, to fit your needs. So those are the guides and those are the measurements for this. If you want to see how this looks without the bleeds, you can hit Control, Shift, and W, and you'll get a better idea of what this will look like once you hit the, uh, once it hits the printer. Alright, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial, and as always, thank you for watching.